Alrighty, so we're about to step outside now. I saved the game just now. And let's see what we find. I still don't know how to enter my inventory to look at items. Um, oh, tab brings up the pit boy. Can we fade back to... Okay. All World Blues. I believe this is all the DLCs we have. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep clicking OK. There we go. So it's adding requests and things like that. So let's bring up the pit boy once again. Um, that's our special. Our skills. Perks. And general. Alright, so we can click items. Aha. And we should be able to equip stuff. Hmm. What should we equip? Keep our pistol equipped? Apparel. Apparel can consist of many different types of gear, ranging from clothing and armor to sunglasses and hats. Alright. DT. Some apparel grants damage threshold DT to the wearer. Your DT is the sum of all DT for currently equipped apparel plus any bonuses from perks or chems. DT is directly subtracted from incoming damage, so a higher DT provides superior protection, though a small percentage of damage can get through even the thickest armor. A high DT is quite valuable. Alright, so there's also apparel condition. C and D affects how much protection it provides. Apparel above 50% CND provides maximum protection and only needs to be maintained. Light, medium, heavy. Medium and heavy apparel will slow characters down when equipped. That makes sense. Repair. This option opens the repair submenu which allows apparel to be repaired by salvaging parts from similar items. Alright. Good to know. So we have... All right, so effects increases speech. That's good. Can we put that on? If we put that on, it takes that off. Okay, let's keep that on just because it increases our speech. Um, we have a reading glasses on. There we go. I think we're gonna stick with that for now. And data. All right. Uh, we got some broadcast and things like that. Alright, so should we use the laser pistol? Or just the uh, 9 mil? I think uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and equip the laser pistol, I suppose. And we have 13 bobby pins, that's good. Car and cigarettes we can sell, drained. You know what? What ammo do we have? Ammunition is used by almost all guns and energy weapons, but is sometimes used by other weapon types. Basic ammo types have no special effect, but ammo subtypes may increase damage, reduce an enemy's damage threshold, or even decrease a weapon's spread. Effects are listed on the am ah. effects are listed on the ammo submenu when the ammo is highlighted. Most weapons can use any ammo subtype that starts with the same name as the base ammo. Common ammo subtypes include armor piercing, ignores large portions of the enemy's damage threshold, does slightly more damage, hollow point does much more damage but is easily blocked by armor, overcharge. Used by energy weapons increases damage but degrades the weapon more quickly. Slug used in used by shotguns, slugs replace bug shots with a single large bullet that is more accurate. To switch ammo subtypes, equip them on this menu outside of the pit boy but press 2 to cycle through ammo subtypes for your currently equipped weapon. Okay, that's good to know. So that's currently equipped for our energy weapon at the moment. All right, and let's see. There's nothing else over here. All right, so I guess this shows all our aid. So does this affect, is this permanent? I don't know if this one's the permanent one or the temporary one. Should I click it? I don't want to waste it. I think I'm going to leave it for now. We'll just uh, keep it on our back of mind that we do have it. So when we do need more uh, knowledge in medicine, we go ahead and press that. Whoops. So tab takes us out of that. And here's a little machine driving around. Who are you? Are you the machine that we talked to? 
Ah, Victor. Oh, more DLC stuff. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Oh, thank you. You're looking pretty splendid yourself. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Do you know who those men were that attacked me? How did you end up in Good Spring? How did you happen to find me? I've never seen a robot like you before. Goodbye. So, how did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Hmm. I'm a Securitron, Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Alright, so I think this is our last option. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Odd indeed. Seems like you don't want to tell me something. Happy trails! Happy trails. Goodbye. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Okay. Dead money loaded. All right. Well then, here we are. Um, I think we're gonna stick with the uh, first-person view. And I have no clue where I am going. Let's see. Can we go into this house? If it's red. I don't think uh, we want to touch it. Or else uh, our karma's gonna go down and we don't want that now, do we? Well, at least I don't. Ooh. I want I want to get... I want it. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We should be uh, good Samaritans. That's all boarded up. Can't go in there now, can we? Oh, we can jump. Jump, jump, jump. What is this, uh, abandoned school of some sort? Can we find anything useful in here? No, that is empty. There is nothing. Oh, okay. Um. Ow. Stop it, you're hurting me. Push V to enter vats. Okay. That's good to know now. Any more? Alright, welcome to Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. VATS displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Mouse 1 attacks your target, and Mouse 2 cancel and attack E except your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited to your action points. Alright. So let's go for uh, a headshot. Yeah. Wait. Let's cancel that. Alright, so we just have two targets. We're going for the head both times. this place uh, safely now? I hope so. Alright, we don't need that. That was useless. I better find something good in here. Programmer's Digest. 
Okay. Uh, what is that? Do I even... Okay, it's nothing. It is nothing. We don't have to worry about it. It's all good. Can we open any of these drawers? Anything in here? Uh, locker is empty. Empty, empty, empty. Alright, let's see. How do we do this? WSD apply torque with a screwdriver. Mouse, rotate the bobby pin. F force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open a lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will be permanently broken and can only be opened with a key. Alright. Well, that was easy. Beer. Ooh, bottle caps. Uh, mentates, do we need that? Sure, we'll take it. Pre-war money, I, I think it has like no value. We'll take a stealth boy and we'll take that. We'll leave the pre-war money. It has no way, might as well take it. And we have a broken terminal over here. Uh, I don't think it's gonna let us do anything. A two box, paint gun. Don't really need that. It's not, it's not much uh, value either. And I don't know, should we take the scrap stuff? Foot locker, there's nothing in there. Alright, so I want to go ahead and check those digests and see what it says. Alright, effects. Science plus 10. That's the programmer digest. We have two of those. I don't, I don't know if the effects are permanent or not, so we'll still continue to just leave it as it is and uh, we'll hit it up if we need it. I think we didn't check here, right? Metal box. More baseball gloves. Why so many gloves? Tin can. Detergent. And my ear is itchy, so hold on as I scratch it. There we go. Bobby pins, always useful. Wonder glue. Don't need that. And that's blocked off, so let's get out of here now. I think we got everything we could search. All right, I don't, yeah, I don't think we need those. Anything else? Am I missing anything? Can I take anything from here? I don't think so. There's nothing else here of interest, so let's get out of here. And I think uh, that's the objective, right? So let's just go to objective and see uh, what's the uppity up. And the previous part I did mention E3, there are a number of games I actually want to check out. Uh, Fallout 4 is obviously one of them, as I already mentioned that. And I also want to check out uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I believe they called it. Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I really enjoyed the first one. And I'm hoping that they improve on that formula and not messes it up. So let's talk to Easy Pete, I suppose. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Yeah, what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. So, is NCR is like the lesser evil, I suppose? Well, according to Pete, it sounds like that. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. 
Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. I'm assuming it's because the Hoover Dam provides power. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Indeed. The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Hmm. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Uh, Critters move in there sometimes. Yeah, I was already there. Uh, how do you put away the gun? Whoa. Oh, that's like an auto lock. Okay, that's good to know. I kind of forget how. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, how do you get out of... I forget how to holster my gun. I'm pressing everything. Oh well, let's just walk in here. Hopefully the gun doesn't scare anyone away. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Wait, I'm not done talking. Everything all right? Well, let's just finish this first, all right? Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. Fine. So be it. We'll have to talk later. Uh, is there anything I could take without uh, getting some negative karma? I don't think so. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, these must be the workbenches. Let's see, I guess she went uh, out to the back over here. Aha. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Can I use that? Evidently not. What? How am I missing? That's the right idea. Look at Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. How do I crouch? Uh. Oh, okay. It's a uh, control. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and complete this quest... Whoa, 
Why don't you stop running? Keep on going. We'll go ahead and complete this quest and then we can explore more of the town or start another quest. But anyways, back to uh, discussing E3 and the games. There's only really four games I actually am interested in uh, playing. Uh, Fallout, Mirror's Edge, Need for Speed, and Deus Ex. For Need for Speed, I don't know. It's, it's more of a nostalgia that brings me back to that game because the last one I played extensively is Need for Speed Carbon and that wasn't even that stellar. The last good one was Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'm not too sure how the other hear that ones. Up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. All right, cool. Bunch of little monsters. As well. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's crouch. So. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. All right. Where, where are the geckos at? So the last good Need for Speed I played was Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted. I'm not too sure if the new ones were any good like Hot Pursuit or um, what was the other one? The Run? Something like that. Caution. Where are you? Oh, is that one right there? Aha! Well... Let's see. Let's go for two headshots. And then, oh, I'm too low. Okay, we'll accept that. Thing. Oh, not too happy about that. Is there anything we can take from the get go? The hide. I don't think we need that. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Alright. And for Deus Ex, I'm not too sure what to expect. I mean, Human Revolutions was pretty good. Uh, it had its faults, but uh, I had no big complaints about it. Actually, let's cancel that. Go for two torso shots. Where are you going? Wait up for me. You're going too fast. You're traveling too fast for me. Hold on. All right. Come, Come on. on. That's what I said. Go for a shot there. Change targets and we'll go for a shot there. Look at me rocking those reading glasses. Alright. You can stop that now. There we go. Is there another one? Reload. I guess we talked to her? Is that it? Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, sure, it kinda hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, sounds good. Be right on my way. Can I change my weapon back to? 
Well, actually, should we stick with this? DPS 10. And where is weathered pistol? We don't want that. My laser pistol. Yeah, we'll go with that. Condition. Uh, only have 15 cells, eh? DPS 41 versus 6. I think we're going to go with the weathered pistol. I'll stick with that for now. And we're going to go to this first uh, waypoint. And I guess we're going to pick up uh, whatever's there. Oh, it's just a can. Just a can. No worries. We don't have to be scared. Alright. Let's go ahead. Finish off this quest. Gain some knowledge on surviving off the land. And watch. We're never going to use this uh, knowledge we gather from this. Well, at least I probably won't because I'm going to forget about it completely. No surprises there. I think I'm going to split the video right over here. So we'll be right back.